Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Well, yesterday was a blast because I got to watch the Grand Arrival in Saudi. Um, Grand Arrivals, um, the Fury, listen, I will see Grand Arrivals uh, live stream. In, of course, in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. It was epic. Even while I was at work, I was working, I was watching it. It was, I was so, but uh, the main, the main entrance for me was Joshua Wahab's entrance because I know Joshua Wahab's story, basically. Five years ago, I interviewed Joshua Wahab on this channel right here. He was having some problems, some big problems then. Me, Mato Tom, Tajagwe, we gave him the best advice, linked up, linked people up with him to make sure he's good. I'm very glad, bro. I damn. Let's let's watch some of the some of the clip. Go all the way to the top. Alright, let's continue with the grand arrival. Let's throw it back downstairs to Thomas Trap. Our next two fighters competing this Saturday in a scheduled 12-round contest. It will be for the vacant WBC Silver Lightweight Championship. First, let's welcome a native of Nigeria, now fighting out of Accra, Ghana. His professional record, 23 wins, just one defeat. With 16 wins coming by way of knockout, here is the WBO Africa Super Featherweight Champion, Joshua the Wealth Machine Wahab. Yeah, here comes Nigerian Joshua Luashen Wahab. UK fans might remember the name because he fought Liam Dillon, obviously former British Super Featherweight Champion. Moving up. Well, to avoid copyright strike, I had to mute that music right here. But the entrance is amazing. Just for me to see what I have right here. You guys don't really understand. That's Mikey Biliaco, by the way, his manager. Oh, man. Story, man. I'm just so happy for this, our brother, man. I feel, I feel like crying, bro. Look at him right here. Wahab, the wealth machine. This was, I was, I watched it live at work and then left. Damn. And also, I like his speech as well. Yeah, I think it was in year. Um, it's just amazing. Joshua, come back, come back. <laughs> Welcome to Riyadh. How are you feeling now? Fight week is upon us. Um, first of all, I want to give thanks to Almighty Allah. I feel good. I feel blessed to be here. It's a dream come true. You know, it's not easy back home from Africa to be on the biggest stage in the world. I give thanks to Almighty Allah and God bless everyone who is here today. Now you're stepping up in opponent, stepping up in weight as well on Saturday night. It's four bro, I can't remember, bro. The joy we did right now, you can't even, you can't even believe it, bro. I'm so fucking happy. Anyways, moving on from that, we had the Fury. Fury looks very lean, bro. Like, and Usyk is even saying Fury looks like a. <laughs> I know uh, featherweight basically I know he's joking but Fury looks lean what do you think is going on bro Adewale and what have you made of this event and, uh, so far the grand grand arrivals and then the John Fury saga the fight week is the, you can tell the, the this fight is in every boxes uh, I'd call uh, I'd call individual mouth, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Heavyweight undisputed championship. The last time we had an event or rather a fight on in a heavyweight division of this magnitude was in nineteen ninety nine. So that's twenty five years ago. So this is a silver jubilee celebration of the heavyweight division since Lennox Lewis unified you know, took all the belts. Now, between Fury and Usyk, man, you should be excited if you're a boxing fan. So, me, I'm excited about the fight. Um, I, I'm not saying it's the biggest fight that I'm excited about, but I'm excited about the fight still. Fury coming in looking trim, skinny, 
um, that that's good. Shows that he has been training and he's taking this fight very seriously. Um, um, I hope he can perform at his best. I also believe that Usyk will be at his best because he has had enough time after the Dubois KO and um, he has had enough time to relax, recover, you know, get back to training, heal himself, you know, mentally. The guy even looked different in the interview. I almost couldn't recognize Usyk until he started laughing, you know. So, yeah, it's good to see those guys back and keep keep boxing moving. As for Joshua Wahab, um, you know, that's what, it's one of the reasons why we are boxing fans. It's not only about we being fans of, you know, people throwing their hands or the fisticuffs. It's also about seeing stories of, you know, grass to grace. You know, you see all types of life changing stories for the positive. You know, boxing legitimately takes many people out of the trenches into better places. But at the same time, it could be destructive. You know, it's a very lonely sport for many people. A lot of these fighters suffer different, different things. We just heard about the Charlos, both of them stripped, no more titles. It's insane. So yeah, boxing is crazy. It's a very emotional sport. And I'm excited about this coming card in Saudi Arabia. Bro, the um the um Ajit Kaba here this was Sanchez fight. I've been trying to pick a winner. I've been trying to analyze that fight, bro. On my mind, I don't know who wins that fight. Both are very similar. Hmm. That that is a real 50-50, if you ask me, man. Both guys are very skilled. Especially Caballero. Caballero is tricky with how skilled he is. You can't, you know, the guy's fundamentals are so good, Caballero. He knows how to throw proper punches at the right time. He knows how to counter at the right time. Good footwork good body punches man this guy hurt mahmoud off to the body man i couldn't believe my eyes well i could because i knew caballero was a good fighter but the way he was able to get through that guy's reach and strength and land those body shots consistently caballero is a great is a very very good heavyweight and I, i'm very excited for him i'm rooting for him too in this case caballero versus Shante sanchez Caballero is my guy. I'm rooting for him. But I think it's a 50-50 fight. Okay, the official uh, judges for the Fury uh, this is the Usyk uh, fight has been announced. The referee, Mark Nelson. Judges of uh, one from Spain, Manuel Oliver Palemo. Another judge from uh, um, Canada, Craig Metcalfe. Judge, one judge from... Um, from US Mike Fisgerard. I think I know that name, Mike Fisgerard. What do you think yeah, about those judges, bro? I, me, I would have expected them to have a mix of at least someone from Ukraine and someone from Britain, you know? But it doesn't matter, man. Because there's no I, judge from Britain. There's, 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 there's no judge from, from Britain, bro. Man. You know what the truth is? People, I think the boxing world, you know, this most people will be rooting for Tyson Fury to win that fight because they want to set up Fury versus AJ in the future. And that's the truth. So most people will be rooting for Fury to win. And for that reason, there might be some bias for Fury. I won't be surprised if that happens. But we'll see. We'll see. O62 is is their 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 favorite boy. So Two of their favorite boys coming together. Let's see what happens. <laughs> bro, Joshua reposted the picture of Josh of Wahab, bro. Can you believe it? Man, good support, man. Oh, yeah, I, I believe it, bro, man. Joshua Josh, is a humble guy, man. Wahab told you know, me I mean, yesterday that Joshua is one of the most humble guys he know. He said, bro, immediately he knew it was Nigerian, it was African. He saw the flag. He was like, it was he made new from Africa basically. He was like root like telling giving him he has a video he's gonna send me though, but he said after the fight, you know, he will send me the video. You know what I mean? Man, he, bro, that, that's what we expect, man. That's what we expect from these guys, man. Bro, you I remember mean, I told bro. this I told this guy five years ago that 
we're gonna try our best like i said you should link up with with him joshua but i said i i didn't have the a direct contact to to joshua himself but i had a contact to somebody i know him you know it's just funny how life works bro you know this is why i say if not if we as africans can be this supportive because what i did for our brother i did it from pure heart and with no with with nothing with no expectation of anything because i see the motivation in him i see he wants to be great he this guy who he trains every day usually boxers don't train every day right he trains every day what up man i'm so i don't know man you can't really believe how happy i am for this you know i don't really understand though you know joshua joshua reports the reports huh you know what i mean so like Oh, now wow guy man let me see for sure you can let's bro you cannot see that if i had a token you know you know really believe, you know you know i don't just say you, you understand this thing and so i just show page this is just page right here you see nine hours ago joshua reposting what happened <laughs> man Joshua a correct guy man no listen I'm glad I support I support him through and through I'm glad I'm very glad bro he's so humble same as Wada though just that you have to be close to Wada to really know you know because Wada has not has been showing us the persona that he's not that is a very nice guy you know so all these guys are nice guys man but Joshua to me like uh, got my support for life bro I don't like you But anyways, um yeah, sorry that I just was one hell of a champion. I just can't wait for the um, Saturday night, bro. Three days to go now. Can't wait. <laughs> like the video guys, subscribe and share. God bless you.